What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your fourth Ionic tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to create a simple blank template for your Ionic project. Now well, these templates like these, for instance, these simple templates look fancy and they look cool as well. But what happens is that to learn something you need to start from the scratch down so yes I could apparently explain each and everything right here but you know that doesn't would that wouldn't just make a connection to Ionic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a blank activity or a blank template you can see in this case and for that I already have the terminal open and running so what I'm gonna do is for now just quit out from here and I'm gonna go a directory back and just like we created this one the hello world folder I'm gonna say ionic start and let's just name our application um, this one would be hello world application and in front of it write blank because if you don't write anything then this would I guess automatically fall back to the tabs template which we have been using right now so it would again create that same template so hit enter and wait for it so it says me that it is downloading the repository or sort of the zip file from github so we are almost done all right another one okay All right, so we are done. Now it again asked me for this account. I already have one, so I'm gonna say no. And if I just do a dir, you can see we have hello world application. So let's just say hello world application. And uh, let me just write ionic serve and hit enter. So it started off with a blank starter as you can see now this looks much better than the tabs one because it gives us the option to learn something actually so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open another folder right here which is this application so if I can get the borders right here we go and here's the page and inside here if I just look at the index.html file we pretty much see almost nothing except this one so what Anik does is that it comes with the pre-built sort of the styles and what we call them as um, um, the directives yeah so these are the directives in angular so ionic comes with a lot of those and the custom styles as well so it would allow you to basically just get started with your application without just getting missed and you know dissolved into some javascript code or css even before writing your application so 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Ionic documentation Ionic framework right there let me just scale that up a little bit and uh, not this one actually and just go to this docs and right here what I'm gonna do is go to overview no not really actually we are done with overview CSS components yeah so this page right there shows you that Ionic has a lot of CSS components pre-built for you so that you can just pick them up into your application and start using them right away so this is these are the sort of pre-built CSS components and uh, sort of JavaScript code available for you like them and uh, for example if you just want to create a list then we have something as um, some sort of demos as well I don't know where they were but there are some sort of here you can just try it try them out so what I'm gonna do for now yes we do have the starting header so we need sort of content so let's just say I'm gonna create this simple button let's just say this assertive button so I'm gonna go into ion content and paste this right there so this button is gonna say hello world and you might notice that since we have gulp ready uh, ready and running in the background on the terminal as well so once I save this code right there you can see that it automatically updates without letting me reload this thing again and again so that's gulp for you and uh, yeah you can see that the changes are logged as well so you can again go ahead and try out some sort of coding here well this is not a lot of fancy stuff we are doing right now but it's good for a start so you can see that we got these buttons right there ready and uh, if you face any sort of problems somehow then you can just leave a comment so for example if I just copy this whole code right here and paste it right here and go back here you can see that it sort of gives me a nice little menu option and just imagine that how nice it would look if I scale it down to a size of mobile so this looks so user friendly and so good on a mobile phone so that's the plus point of Ionic you can just make use of your technologies which you love and which with which you work to code your Android applications as well and uh, yeah so that's Ionic for you guys and if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and in the next tutorial we'll be starting off with some real serious code with Ionic and Angular as well so yeah so thank you for watching